Hi everyone, Happy New Year! I am Yasuko and it's time for Massage Monday. Today is January 1st, 2018. In case you didn't know, in the state of California, the recreational use of marijuana became legal today. Since the end of December, when you drive on freeways, you see signs like this. Drive high, get a DUI. Who would have thought this day would come? To commemorate this historical achievement, this week I'm going to talk about cannabis massage or marijuana massage. The words hemp, cannabis, and marijuana are used interchangeably these days. From my research, my understanding is that cannabis refers to the entire plant species as denoted in its Latin scientific name, cannabis sativa. Under the US law, hemp refers to sterilized seeds, stems, stalks, and roots. And marijuana refers to viable seeds, leaves, and flowers. The hemp plants and marijuana plants are grown and used differently for different purposes. When you talk about cannabis products, you must know these two main chemicals of cannabis plants. Tetrahydrocannabinol, also known as THC, and cannabidiol, also known as CBD. THC is a psychoactive chemical that gives you high. CBD does not give you high. In fact, one of the benefits of CBD is antipsychotic and it calms you down. CBD has so many other benefits such as anti-inflammatory, relieves pain, reduces anxiety, anti-convulsant, relieves nausea, and improves sleep. Although both hemp plants and marijuana plants have CBD, hemp plants have less THC, so you cannot get high from smoking hemp plants. Marijuana plants, on the other hand, have been crossbred over time to intentionally increase the content of THC for medicinal use. So, can you get high from cannabis massage? It depends. It depends on the amount of THC in the product used in the massage. Your skin is the largest organ in your body, and your body absorbs whatever you put on your skin. If the massage is done with a product like this, Apothecana Cannabis Oil, which doesn't have any THC, and it even says 100% hemp-derived CBD, non-psychoactive, there's no way you can get high from this. But if the product has lots of THC, and depending on your tolerance level, you can get high. As a consumer, if you see cannabis massage or marijuana massage, I would ask the practitioner what they mean by that. I would ask them what kind of product they use, and I would also specifically ask how much THC is in the product, if any, so that you know what to expect before getting service. I don't want you to get disappointed for not getting high or get arrested for DUI for getting too high. As a practitioner, I've asked California Massage Therapy Council which governs massage licensing if there are any regulations or guidelines regarding marijuana massage. As of December 18th, 2017, there's nothing in state law that addresses this. But that could mean your city or county has regulations, so please do your research. Now that marijuana is legal, just like alcohol, please know your limit, know the consequences, and take responsibility of your own action, and please, please, please don't drive high. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back next week. Make it a great week. Feel free to comment below and please don't forget to subscribe.